Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Today, friends, we're going to start on my website. Of course, I've got all the awesome categories. Today, we're actually going to click on one, the Sim Lab Lessons. Now, Sim Lab Dominoes are a ton of fun. I have got some new projects that we make cool designs with. I have also got a contest. This is the starter. This is the original tutorial if you want to use that. Right now, I'm going to use the starter and show you a new domino idea. So, of course, this contest, I'll show you the details, ends on January 26th. I will, of course, check those anytime. Of course, you can always share with the HLMT23 tag. At this moment, I'm going to copy and tinker. But, friends, remember the golden rule of Tinkercad before you ever copy and tinker. Give a reaction. So, this is the large project. These are all the rules and everything. You can read those at your leisure. I'm going to mention again that you must build with this domino. You may change the colors, but keep it the same size. You've got the whole thousand by thousand. And now I want to show you the cool creation I've come up with. So first, we always switch to size five nudge. That makes life a lot cooler because we can do control D, three nudges, one, two, three. And then if we don't touch anything else, just do control D again and again, we can start building our awesome domino project. Now our goal in the project is to make some sort of shape. Right now, I'm gonna make a plus sign. Watch this trick. Control D, shift nudge. I'm gonna rotate that 90 degrees. Remember, if you stay inside, it's easy to go four clicks. You could also hold shift and it's 45 degrees at a time for two clicks. So to make, say, an addition sign or a plus sign, We've got to turn the dominoes 90 degrees. We're going to make this awesome turn using the cone. Simply bring it out and put it in this corner so it's out of the way. I'm going to tell you the bottom radius we're going to use is 5. The top is going to be 1.5 and the height is going to be 32 and press enter. It's not a bad idea to take your sides and make them 16 just so the file is a little more simple. This is something with SimLab projects, the less complex each piece is the better they work. Now we're going to make this a spinning lever with the awesome torus. I'm going to bring it out right here. Let's click on these numbers and we're going to make it eight sides. Once again, simpler. We're going to make the steps 16 and press enter. And now let's do shift select to line this up with the cone. Of course, it's L for a line and we want it to be centered. I'm going to move to a better angle so I can see those dots. There is that centered and I want it to come all the way to the top. Now to get this to land the way I want, I'm gonna tell you a radius up here of 5.5 is great. I'm gonna tell you 1.5 is great. And we've already modified the other pieces. Now we can take this and lower it down. I'm gonna do control down one click. If you look over, there is still a gap, which is awesome. And now we're gonna build the levers. Friends, these are so cool. Because of our five millimeter nudge, it's real easy to get to size five, size five. And then we're just gonna take this one and make it two, press enter. And let's click where it says 20 and let's make it 10 and press enter. We can move this so it's almost in the middle of that block. We can raise it up so that the block would hit it. If you wanna fine tune, this is a good time to switch to size one. I'm gonna go down one click, two clicks. I'm gonna do control D, shift nudge, and then this one needs to be rotated. Once again, 90 degrees, which is four if you stay on the inside circle, or two if you turn on shift rotate. Then I can nudge this over so that when this domino gets hit, that domino gets hit. Now you'll notice they're not connected. It doesn't matter, watch this. Shift click, shift click, shift click. Let's do L for align. Of course, you could use the align button. Make the light blue on the boss, and we'll just put them in the middle. That's going to be pretty darn sweet. All right, now that we've got them aligned, I'm going to do shift select again. Make sure I've got all three shapes, and let's group them. Make it a fun color. And we need to nudge this out so that we can launch the dominoes. We're going to launch them with a wedge. Bring the wedge out. Stretch it back a little bit. Lift it up so that the sphere is going to hit the top. Bring out a ball. Cruise it to the top. Let's spin around and line up those three. 
Notice it says three shapes, choose a line, let's make the domino the boss, and bingo, it's lined up. Friends, let's go test it in the sim lab. Notice as soon as you enter, it takes a moment for the geometry to snap. Now let's click on a few pieces we don't want to move, so that one is now static. We also don't want this one to move, so now it is static. And it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how our cool little lever works. Bingo! That turned really, really cool, but notice it was just a little bit low. Let's pause, reset. Always run it twice, just in case. And that's still pushed too low, that's why it slid forward. So I'm gonna reset and let's back up just a little bit. So if we go out to our project here and we double click, if we click on this little tube, instead of 1.5, let's try two. Now we always want to make sure there's a gap or it'll have all kinds of issues, but maybe that little gap will be perfect. Let's also click on this. Got my one millimeter nudge set and I'm going to do control up just to raise it up two clicks. Notice the pink shows we are editing. Now we can back out once again, jump into sim lab, the new geometry snaps and let's hit play see that one popped off of course let's reset and double check play that time it stayed bingo worked like a champ now quite often we find out that things don't work the first try that's why it's always cool to try them twice and don't forget you can hit reset to test them again how cool is that now of course you can fine tune your numbers and try and get them better but what a sweet way to turn 90 degrees in an instant. Now, as you can see, I just duplicated and nudged to get them all set up. I do have to make a new apparatus here. Let me show you that trick. We're gonna simply ungroup it. And I'm gonna change my placement. Now I want this to be close to that line. I'm gonna just delete this one so I don't have to rotate it. Control D, Shift Nudge. And we want it so that this domino pushes here and that domino goes the other way. As you can see, that'll work easy peasy. I do want to align them. So right now I'm shift selecting, choosing L for align, choosing the middle. And then here's another idea. I'm gonna go back to that 1.75, so it's close. That way it spins a little better. And then watch this, I can also make a lock. If I do control D, I'm going to shift select L for align make this one the boss and I'm gonna choose center. And then I could lower this down so that it was a place for that part that turns to rest. So now that is the lowest it can go. I just slip this out and slip this out. And then of course do control G to group those two parts. So we just modify it so we can still keep it thin, still should spin. We do of course need to group these Shift select, shift select, control G. I'm gonna pick another color for this. Let's go with bright pink. And of course, I need to put this in all these other spots as well. A lot of duplicate, nudge, rotate, and flip. There we can see the entire project. Let's see if this actually works in the sim lab. Here we go, friends. Those parts all broke, but once again, that's one of those things that we have to try twice. Let's hit reset. I'm gonna double check and see if these need to be static. Yes, they do. Those new ones that I made did not keep their static connection. That's because we added that part. And one more static. Now let's hit play and see what we get. Oh, so close. Just need to adjust the alignment. This is exciting too though, because watch this. Now in Tinkercad Sim Lab, we can adjust them in the Sim Lab. Notice I'm gonna just use the arrow keys and nudge it a couple clicks that way. I'm gonna spin around and nudge this one a couple clicks too. And let's come over here and nudge these a couple clicks as well. And get the world oriented and friends. Let's see if it works. Bingo. Bango. Are you ready for that? We have just made an addition symbol. How cool is that? 
Friends, you can have so much fun making cool designs. And of course, I'm looking forward to seeing your epic submissions. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.